and in the air were dirigibles and planes. Fighters, reconnaissance planes, and a few which served as bombers. Not very many compared with what we would see in the next great war, but enough to be a hint of things to come. They seemed to be the one spark of daring and glamour in a dirty war. Most were single-seaters, one man in one rickety wooden machine trying to outwit his opponent far above the mud and the slow death in the trenches. They became popular heroes. Men like Eddie Rickenbacker, who shot 26 enemy planes out of the sky. And it took an extra bit of courage to fight in the skies in those days because the parachute was not yet invented. High above the trenches, high in the air, 